Hello everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's thrifting in 2022 video. So right when I walked into Goodwill today, this beautiful purple Chase Lounge got my attention so I had to walk over and check it out for you guys. It was in really great condition and I happened to look this up online and I found the exact same Chase Lounge on the Home Depot website and it was selling for over $600 and Goodwill had it priced for $44.98 which I thought was the steal for this and it's going to look lovely in someone's home especially if their favorite color is purple. So I did purchase three of the items that caught my attention on today's trip. See if you can guess which ones they were. And I also found another bonus item and I will share everything that I purchased at the end of today's Goodwill trip and I will also show you how I used everything in my home and if you enjoy thrifting content like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out I do post new thrifting videos every week on my channel and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family And the last item from today's trip that I wanted to share with you guys that caught my attention right away was this vintage Fisher Price toy right here. It looked pretty old and it was called the Cackling Hen. It was missing its pull chain, but it did make the noise it was supposed to make. It was $3.98 and I think this could be really cute if you cleaned it up and put it on a shelf, maybe in a child's room. It could be really cute in a vignette.
So the first item that I purchased from today's trip was that Philosophy Season of Snow shower gel gift set for $2.79. I thought it was a great deal. It did come with four different shower gel scents. I did look this up online and it originally retailed for $25, so I think I got a great deal on this. I can definitely split these up and put them into different gift baskets this holiday season. All of the seals were intact, nothing was broken, so these were definitely not used or tampered with. And the next item that I purchased on today's trip was that random lonely glass mug for 79 cents. I thought this was so cool. I loved the look of it and I couldn't leave it behind. And I did find a similar set of six being sold on eBay and they are being described as vintage Italian cappuccino glasses. I wish I could have found more, but I was happy to find this one here. The metal piece does come off so you can wash it easy. And as you can see right here, I'm just using mine for my cold brew coffee. So the next item that I purchased from today's trip was that wooden wine serving tray. It did have handles on it and it was only $3.98. I thought this was a great deal because because these can be pretty pricey if I were to buy one brand new. As soon as I got it home, I cleaned it up and I'm just using a magic eraser to get the price off the bottom. I will definitely get a lot of use out of this, especially out on my back patio. This makes it so much easier to carry everything. I can put my wine bottle here in the middle. It does hold up to four glasses and there's even some room on top where I can lay my wine opener so I can carry everything out all at one time. So the last thing that I found on today's trip was a pair of curtains. I happened to be walking by the bin where they keep all of the curtains and pillows, blankets and towels, things like that. And I saw these peeking out on top and I had to check them out because they looked really high end. They happened to be West Elm curtains and I got them for $3.69 for the pair. When I got home, I noticed the tag said that they were dry clean only, but I took a chance and put them in the wash anyways. I did wash them on a delicate cycle and they came out fine. They weren't damaged. They didn't shrink or anything. So these curtains are a cotton velvet and I did go to the West Elm website and I found a pair of curtains being sold on their website that are very similar to the ones that I have and two panels that are 48 by 96 like the ones that I have here would have cost me $248. So mine were really a steal at only $3.69 for the pair. So since these are really big panels, I have them on my sliding glass door right now. I might eventually move these upstairs into my guest bedroom, but I wanted to try them out down here first. So that is everything that I found thrifting at Goodwill this week. And if you're new here, this is Peanut, my thrift store inspector. She did approve of all of my purchases today. And we both want to say thank you so much for watching. We hope this video inspired you to go out and go thrifting because you never know what you're going to find out there. Thanks again and I will see you next week with a new thrifting video.